20 cities and as far as Abel and Karamin with a great blow, so the Ammonites were subdued before the people of Israel. Then Jephthah came to the home of Mizbah, and behold, his daughter came out to meet him with tambourines and with dances. She was his only child. Besides her, he had neither son nor daughter. And as soon as he saw her, he tore his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, you have brought me very low, and you have become the cause of great trouble to me. For I have opened my mouth to the Lord, and I cannot take back my bow. And she said to him, My father, you have opened your mouth to the Lord. Do to me according to what has gone out of your mouth. Now that the Lord has avenged you of your enemies on the Ammonites, so she said to her father, Let this thing be done for me. Leave me alone for two months, that I may go up and down on the mountains and weep for my virginity. I and my companions. So he said, Go. Then he went, he sent her away for two months, and she departed, she and her companions, and wept for her virginity on the mountains. And at the end of two months, she returned to her father. And they with her according to his vow that he had made. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response for the psalm shall be, See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Please repeat. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Blessed the man who has placed his trust in the Lord and has gone over to the proud who follow false gods and response See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. You delight not in sacrifice and offerings, but in an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Then I said, See, I have come. Our response See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. In the scroll of the book which stands written of me, I delight to do your will, O my God. Your instruction lies deep within me. Our response? See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not seen. You know it, O Lord. Our response? See, See I, I have, have come, come Lord. Lord. To do your will. Kindly arise with the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Today, harden not your hearts, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. At that time, again Jesus spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast. But they would not come. Again he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat cows have been slaughtered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off. One to his farm, another to his business. While the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully and killed them. The king was angry and he sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, the wedding feast is ready, but those invited 
were not worthy. Go therefore to the main robes and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the robes and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king, king came in to look at the guests, he saw there was a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot, and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just brief reflection. In the Gospel parable that we just heard, the King is God the Father. And the wedding feast is between Christ and the Church. And all of us are invited to this wedding feast. But yes, we need to have our garments ready. It means one who says yes to be part of God's kingdom has to live a life that is in conformity with the teachings of Christ and his church. During this holy mass, let us pray for the grace that I may always be obedient to the teachings of Christ, even though it may be difficult at times. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you. For of the earth and birth of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, for the call of creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. For the wine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be to the God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about our glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just for the and salvation always and ever to give it thanks to our only Father, Almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise and our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praise is at nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation to Christ the Lord. And so in company with the voice of angels, we praise you and with joy. Together we proclaim Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of your Lord, the sun and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like a new flow, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time you speak prayer and will be a passion, he took prayer. And giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for all.
in a similar way to suppose and then he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of this death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have in this worthy to be in your presence and minister to Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world and bring unto the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, our own gracious our Bishop, Dominic Savio, our own Bishop, and all the flesh. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. As we pray for our loved ones who are over with us today, we also pray in a very special way for the souls of Patrick Menezes, Vijay Sagar, Peter Rodericks, Emmett Ludin, Michael Fernandez, Daniel Wigging, Sidney D'Souza, Francis Prima Matthias, R.C. Chettiyar, Sylvia Neri, Christopher Bauer, Haruki Uttari and Chokim, and Berenikar Chettiyar, for whom this request is offered. And all who are back in a mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, and most dear spouse, and the blessed Apostles, Saint Stephen, Saint Padre Pio, Saint Jude and all the saints of peace to throughout the ages, remember it to make voice written in life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, a God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and all is yours forever and ever. Amen. As a family, together, let's all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us the trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us to all of the temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Dear Lord, Lord, we pray from every evil, which is grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress. As we are the blessed over the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and wish you grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord. Be with you always and with, with you your spirit. We offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only save the woman, and my soul shall be healed. May the God of the Word of Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. Spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness. 
in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. With the Lord there is mercy, in Him is plentiful redemption. Let us pray. May it partake of Christ's holy sacraments, we humbly pray your mercy, Lord, that confirmed to His image and earth, we may merit also to be His poets in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to you. Namina prayer to Saint Jude. O Lord Jesus Christ, who when on earth, dead with a strong cry and tears, offered up prayers and supplications to your Father, receive the offering of this service, during which we desire to join our prayers to yours with these intentions. Mention the favors you desire. All together. We make, we make this, this offering to the Mary, your mother, and to Saint Jim Tadeus, your beloved cousin, for he is the helper in difficult cases, for they are saying, accept our prayers and render them in good good. Amen. O glorious apostle Saint Jim Tadeus, patron of hopeless cases, who chosen by God to give testimony of the true faith, suffered all kinds of tortures and in the end gave your life. Rather than deny your faith, obtain for us a faith strong as yours, and like you, make us ever ready to confess it with joy, so that we will die rather than deny it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, for we shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. O faithful apostle, Saint Jude, the Deus. Beloved cousin of our Savior, by the admirable courage with which you sacrificed your life, soon as and fail in your fidelity to the true God and true faith, obtain for us the grace to be always faithful to God and to the church in all our duties, so as to merit a share of glory in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, for we shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. O fervent apostle, Saint Jude, that is, whose only desire was to please God in all things, obtain for us the same desire, that in flame with the same power, we may spend all our life in working out our salvation, so that purified by the fire of revelation, we may be entitled to an eternal crown of glory in the kingdom of God. 
our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us with us, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the cause of the beginning, he is now, for we shall be born without an Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed apostle of Saint Jude has brought us to the knowledge of your name, grant that we may celebrate his eternal glory by making progress in virtue and by perpetuating the glory we may advance in sanctity. Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Jude. Most holy apostle Saint Jude, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered the beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the Church honors and informs you universally as the patron of hopeless cases of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable, make use thy glory of that particular privilege according to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great day that I may receive the consolation and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, and that I may glorify God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Savior, to be ever mindful of the great favors, and will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all of my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Prayer for the sick. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall get well. Mark 16, 18. Your friends, in a very special way, we pray for all the sick members in our families, in our communities, of our parish, in our neighborhood, all those admitted in hospitals, all those who are in great pain, all those whose surgeries are due. We pray for all the cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy, radiation. We pray for those who are terminally ill. We pray for children who are suffering. May they be healed to the powerful intercession of St. Jude. Let us pray. Grant Almighty and eternal God everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of men of the world, through the merits and intercession of his holy apostle Saint Jude, show us favor and mercy. Amen. Amen. Blessing with the relic of Saint Jude. May the blessings of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Jude, pray for us and for all who we hope you are The Apostle of Jesus, the Lord of Saint of all, the person of our Savior, whom thy love to, a writer of the scriptures, with tongues of fire flame, worker of great wonders, and Jesus so living, sing you, we pray to you, hear our prayers, be our hand, be our hope, sing to the mountain, and shall remember be, we live in our glory. Through the unfavorable sins, Saint Jude, we pray to you. 
Judah, 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 Judah,